Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Rachel Kelly with Empower to Be Present. I'm excited to be here with you this morning. We empower families to be present spiritually, physically, emotionally, financially. Um, and so today, my topic for you is going to be a very good one. It's about how to, five things to consider before starting a home business. I actually seen this question in the group last night and I said, you know what, I think I'm going to do a video on that because I think it's really important that people need to know certain things before they get involved inside of a home business, right? So the very first thing that I want you all to, first of all, before I go into the five, I just want to say welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Um, but the very first thing that you want to think about is the cost, right? How much does it cost to get involved? I've been in some home businesses where it's cost me $500, $600. I've got a lot of products and, you know, a lot of stuff to come through. And, and the problem with that is that you, you invest so much money in the beginning, but you don't know what to do. I mean, like you got all these products here. They're telling you to sell this, sell that. You have no idea. You don't know how to sell it. So the problem with spending $500 to start a business is you don't even know anything, right? You're just, you're just coming in, you're spending $500 and you're totally lost in the next month. You know, there's another bill and you're constantly going in the hole. So one of the things you want to consider is how much does it cost and if it fits in your budget or not and how long that process will be for you. And, you know, before you gain the skill that you need in order to succeed in what you're doing. Right. The second thing is, what is the income potential? Is there the income potential? Is there enough to like to expand and to grow? If, if it costs you five dollars or ten dollars a month. Then you got to ask yourself the question, like, am I going to be able to make money with this? Is like, like, how can I sell something for five dollars and live off of this? Is it really, you know, is it is it doable? Is it something that I can really do, and can other people profit from it as well? So you got to be careful with that price point. So if you're spending a dollar, I seen somebody said, well, it's only a dollar to my business, right? But if there's no upsells, if there's no way to convert people into buying more, because we already know, you know, if you take care of your customer, right? They will stay around for a long time. If they buy one product from you, they'll buy another and another and another. But you want to make sure that, you know, whatever program you're in, it's one that will slowly grow, slowly allow a person to be able to grow with them and eventually buy more products, right? But you want them to get the skill. And that's the next thing I want to talk about is the skill. Do you have the skills? I remember when I first came online in 2008, I had absolutely no skills. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to recruit. I had the worst confidence in the world. So, you know, the other question you got to ask yourself is, you know, like, you know, do, what's my skill level? What am I going to have to learn before I can actually earn? So, you know, and keeping that in mind, keeping that in mind, if you're going to come on, you're going to start a business, there's some skills that you're going to have to learn. And one of the very first skills that I would tell anybody to learn is personal development. Make sure you work on this first. Because this will be constantly attacked. The enemy will constantly attack your mind. Because that's what he does. He likes to attack us and make us think that we're not good enough. Make us think that we can't accomplish the goals that God has given us. So keep that in mind um, is your skill set, right? The next thing you want to do is, um, you know, we talked about skills. So, you know, you're going to need to learn some things. You know, I was looking at a video about, it's called Zero to Something. <clears throat> and one of the things that, you know, he was talking about like these these industries that, you know, are really, really growing. And, you know, but if you don't have the skill, you can't go. Like he was talking about some kind of science, biotech, whatever. I'm like, huh, what was that? You know, <laughs> I never heard that, right? So if you don't have the skill, then you probably shouldn't be jumping into that particular thing right there. If it's a simple skill, something that you can easily go and learn, it's good. But if it's something like really hard, then I would, you know, I wouldn't look at that opportunity because it's going to take you forever. It's going to take you a long time. To get in there, you're going to struggle. You may get frustrated. You may do like most people do, and that's quit, which is the worst thing you can do because the longer you stay in it, the more better you're going to get at it. And that leads me to the next one, and that is, um, you know, we talk about, you know, you want to be unique. You want to be different. You want, you like, and this is one of the things that he talked about was, you know, is your product like everybody else's product? Do you have another weight loss product? What makes your product different than anybody else's product? If your product is just like everybody else's product, it's going to be very difficult to, to sell as well. You need to stand out from the marketplace. Um, you know, like I think about like, you know, like different different businesses. Like, like, like you know, there's 
there's, there's weight loss, there's this, there, there, you know, there are all of the normal stuff, right? But then there are the unique things. This is what I was telling my son. I said, son, I said, you know, there's not that many people trying to help people who have speech impediments. You should look at, you know, going after that market, helping those people because they need help. They're discour discouraged. And so there's possibly something within you that you could do to help somebody. You know, like, I mean, he gave me another good idea. I won't share it here because it's really, really powerful. And I'm really going to push him to go ahead and do it because I think it's it's different. I haven't seen it out there. So that's another thing you got to ask yourself is the potential out there. Is it different? Is it unique? Because that's what really attracts people is the difference and the uniqueness, right? And the last thing is, will you have the support, right? Is it a system that supports itself? Is it a system that will allow you to continue to grow, allow your income to continue to grow? And that's really important. Why? Because when you get stuck, when things are not working the way that you think they should, you know, you will have somebody or something to look to and say, hey, look, I'm, I'm stuck. I need some help. I don't know what to do here. And so that is the reason why you want a good support system along with a good system. And with that being said, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to offer you the opportunity to grab our free report on nine ways to be able to um, get red high income streams. So what I do is at the end of this video, I will post in a report that you can go grab. It's a video and it will share with you more ideas on what you can do to grow and to join a home business. Guys, God bless. Thank you for joining me and we will see you on the live later on today. Have a great day.